autumn blow the leaves from the creaking branches of big trees, then winter is on its way. Many, many years ago, there lived in a faraway country named Greece, a soldier, Artemis, and his little boy, Plino. One day, Artemis took Plino on a hunting trip. When nightfall came, they were far from home. It was warm. Plino and his father found a haystack, and there they went to sleep. Later, Plino awoke. It was black and cold. He reached out to touch his father, but Artemis was gone. Plino heard something moving in the dark. Then he recognized the steps. It was Artemis. Artemis had found some wood. He started a big fire. Lad, he said to Plino, we've been caught by winter. Plino moved close to the fire. He thought for a moment. Then he asked, why, father, is it not always summer? Well, Artemis said, I'm not sure I know exactly, but there's an old story. Get in closer to the fire and I'll tell you. There was a time when all the days were summer days and the grass was green, the flowers grew, and the birds sang all through the year. And in this happy time, there was a young girl named Prosperine. She was beautiful, gentle, unafraid. And she was so kind that even wild animals were tame before her. One day, Prosperine wandered far from her home into a strange valley. She came to a very old tree. Around its gnarled trunk grew a vine bearing flowers of deep flashing colors. Prosperine picked some. They were hard to carry, so she took off her cloak and dropped the flowers in it. She was so busy with what she was doing, she did not hear the soft sounds of a huge man who moved quickly, quietly behind her. Then for a second, it seemed to Prosperine that the valley was more quiet than silence itself. She turned. There was a man, tall and broad as a door. His hair was dark. His skin burned hard and brown by the sun. His eyes were black as night. He was Stygis, the soldier they called the Dark Prince. Once he looked at her, Stygis knew that Prosperine must become his princess. Throwing his tunic over her, the huge Stygis slung her on his shoulder like a sack and ran through the valley to his hidden castle in the caves. So quickly did the dark warrior move that Prosperine had not time to cry out, but only to hold tightly to the strange flowers in her hand. When night came and Prosperine had not returned home, her mother Ceres became worried. She threw on her cloak, took a lantern, and went out in search of her daughter. Morning came. Ceres found herself in a strange valley near a very old tree. There on the ground was Prosperine's cloak with beautiful flowers laid carefully upon it. But Prosperine was gone. Ceres wept for her lost daughter, and as her tears fell to the ground, she cried, May the earth be cursed and cold. May no flower, leaf, or blade of grass be green again until Prosperine returns to me. And the sun was low in the sky. The land grew cold and no flower bloomed. Ceres never gave up searching for her daughter. One day, she stopped before a brook that came from under the big caves nearby. Looking down into the stream, Ceres saw flowers of deep flashing colors, like those from the strange valley. Ceres whispered, if Prosperine be returned to me, then shall the earth be green again. Finding an entrance to the caves, Ceres quietly crept along the cavern walls. Far in the distance below, she could see the dim lights of the castle in the caves. Her foot touched a loose stone. Before she knew it, Stygis warriors were at the bottom of the cliff, climbing up after her. 
series called Bring Stidges to the Bottom of the Cliff, for I, series mother of Prosperine, would speak with him. Stidges came quickly, bringing Prosperine. Series called Stidges, free Prosperine, or I will hurl myself off this cliff, and Prosperine shall die after me. The black eyes of the Dark Prince glowered. He did not know what to do. Finally, he said in his rumbling voice, half the year Prosperine may be with you, Ceres, but half the year she must be with me. Ceres looked down and saw the pale, beautiful face of her daughter, Prosperine. Ceres called after Stygis. All right, Stygis, half the year with me, half the year with you. And so it was. When Prosperine was with Ceres, the spring came and the world was green. And when Prosperine went to the castle in the caves, the barren winter visited the world. That, Plino, is the story of the seasons. But Plino didn't hear, for he was fast asleep beside the roaring fire.